Hey guys, this is Shane and welcome to my Curator of the Lost channel. Today, I'm going to talk about three things that I think that really boost my sales on eBay. So, um, hey, I appreciate the view and uh, the channel support. I look forward to your comments and things that are working for you. And um, hey, subscribe. We'll keep doing this and see what happens. So um, with that, let's, let's jump right in. So if you've, if you've watched several of my videos, I've mentioned these things, but I, I, I'm having such really good success and sell through right now that I just felt like that it was, for, especially for maybe people that have just joined the channel or for new sellers that are just getting to this content, that it's worth worth pointing out and reviewing. And, and really it's, you know, in this, this fourth quarter season, you know, leading up to Christmas, the way sales are going, I think that, you know, for me, it, I'm getting so many sales right now, it, it just seems like that they're, they're coming from these things, right, that I'm doing, especially the last two. So jumping into things that I think that really work for me and really help my my sales, my sell through rates on eBay um, are this. First off, for books, I list books with buy it now. Okay, I do not. I mean, the rare exception, I will do an auction format, and I think that the buy it now is really the way to go for most books. Uh, it, that's my opinion. Others may have different opinion opinions, but here's why. If you're doing specialty nonfiction, you you don't have a feeding frenzy for to, to for an auction, right? You a lot of what I sell is specialty nonfiction. There you know, there's a handful of people at any time in the world that probably want some of these books I sell. But you get that one buyer, they do want it, and when they want it, they want it right then. So, you know, if they, if they see it on my site and on eBay and they can't get it, they don't want to they don't want to wait seven days for an auction. I just think buy it now is the way to go. So that's the first thing. I think just use buy it now for books. That's that's what I do. It works for me. Others may have different opinions, but I think that's just the way to go for books. And probably for a lot of things on eBay, to be honest. The second thing, and this is this is just I'm amazed at how this helps, okay? But with the buy it now feature, turn best offer on. You will be amazed at how many offers you get. Now you can set automated things in there where people are like, if they lowball it, it automatically says, I don't want it. To be honest, I get a few of those every now and then, but I don't get a lot of the, you know, you got a 30 or $40 book, somebody offers you five bucks. I don't get a lot of that. It's amazing. I get sometimes you'll have a book that's $24.99, $19.99, $19 pick your price, and somebody just wants a dollar off. It's, it's part of that, I think, that human psychology. They think it's like they're getting a deal, right? And I guess if you have a $20 book and you take a dollar off, that's 5%. So, you know, that's, they're, they're getting a discount. What I like about it is that it allows people that are interested, they can make you an offer. It's kind of self-regulating. If you have the book overpriced, the market will tend to, you'll see more offers coming in at a certain level. And it lets you adjust your price down and know that your expectations on price, wherever you did your comps, you know, whether that's a sold comp from a previous sell on eBay or something from Amazon or, you know, whatever, wherever you get your sell comps from, maybe you just, you just weren't right. It was a bad price. You priced it too high. So the market, this free market system, you start getting multiple offers in at a certain price, then you can kind of feel that you're overpriced and you need to accept it. Sometimes I do get somebody, maybe I'll have a $30 book, somebody offer me 15 or 20 bucks. There's times when I don't accept that. I'm like, no, this is a good book. I don't want to sell it for that. It's worth what I'm asking. But there's other times when, you know, it's been on my shelf for a year or, you know, maybe I'm just in the mood to just let it go. It, but the point is, is that you are in control on that. You get to pick if you accept the best offer or not. And a good strategy is sometimes, let's just take, take a number. $30 book, somebody offers 20 bucks. I'll just respond back, no, I won't accept this, but I'll take 25. I will meet you in the middle. It's kind of that classic, you know, uh, haggling, you know, somebody offers low because they know where they want to be. You can do the same thing. You can say, yeah, I'll give you a discount. I'll meet you in the middle. That tends to work a lot for me on, on the best offer. So that's the second thing. First is do buy it now. And then on your buy it now, turn your best offer on. The third that a lot of sellers, I mentioned this in previous some previous videos, but that a lot of sellers may not be aware of is the send offer feature. So if you look on your selling page, and I'll do a screen, you'll see a screen inset here. If you look on the selling page, 
you will see, you know, items that you have for, for sale, you know, that are sold things, but you'll see a line that says send offer. And eBay's got rules. I think that the item has to be listed for like 10 days. There's, if you Google it, you'll see kind of what they have rules before an item is even eligible for it. But as an item's listed and people are viewing it, it you get noticed that someone's interested in it. Someone has, has been looking at it. And it'll pop up on your seller page there as a send offer. I get tons of sales with a send offer. So on that, again, maybe I'm offering 20 bucks. I know somebody's been looking at it. I'll send them an offer for 16 or 17 bucks, effectively free shipping, right? But it's my choice what I discount it. Or it might be that somebody's looking at it and it's something that's really been on my shelf a long time. I might give it, I could give a 30 or 40% discount to clear it off, okay? It is great because you're in control and you think about it. That's like somebody has picked it up and they're looked at it and you, you have them, you've set the hook. Now you just have to reel it in. Okay. So that, that send offer function and, and you will, you will be really pleased to recognize that. And if you're not used to it on your seller page, it's something you should check every every day I'll I pull mine up and I'll, I'll if I get a notice on eBay I just automatically pull it up and see it as soon as I get one I'll send an offer I get lots of conversions silks conversions through that so that's the third thing I'm totally amazed at how, how well that one works so you know my advice if you're a new bookseller or if you're selling books do the buy it now feature then um, always turn best offer on you're in control and it still works and then Always look on your seller page and look for that when when a book has that send offer when it hits hits your site, and you can send send a buyer an offer. It works. So hey, good luck. Keep selling. Keep finding good stuff. List it. Sell it. Have fun. Talk to you soon.